In summer heat or on a winter day as cold as 0 degrees Fahrenheit, one person can apply 3M self-adhered air and vapor barrier membrane 3015 over typical exterior sheathing without the time and expense of priming. To use the box as a convenient dispenser, cut it open to expose the roll. Peel off, trim, and discard the starter tab. A 6-inch grid on the membrane helps you measure the length of membrane that you need. Pull the right length out of the box. Fold the membrane to set a crease in the release liner. Peel back the release liner to expose the adhesive to form a starter strip across the membrane. The very aggressive adhesive sticks to many surfaces, so be careful when aligning the membrane on the wall since repositioning may be challenging. You can apply the membrane horizontally as shown here, or vertically as will be demonstrated later. Align and roll the membrane back against the exposed adhesive, adhering the starter strip in place against the wall. Begin unwinding the roll while simultaneously pulling the release liner. Maintain pressure against the wall to tack the membrane in place. Continue across the wall. To smooth the surface, wipe the membrane with a feathering motion from the middle outward. Unroll and cut your next length as required for the application. As you did previously, wind the roll and fold back the liner to start the strip. Align the membrane, overlapping the previously applied strip in a shingle fashion. Unroll while maintaining pressure on the roll. Feather and wipe the width of the membrane. For optimum barrier performance, use a J-roller to ensure a tight seal between layers. To apply a membrane vertically, the procedure is equally as fast and simple. The membrane may be applied horizontally or vertically. General construction best practices, however, prefer weatherboard or shingle fashion over vertical. To apply 3M self-adhered air and vapor barrier membrane 3015 to rough openings such as windows and doors, strips should overlap horizontally in shingle fashion. Using a window opening as an example, fit the membrane across the bottom of the opening, forming a sill with 4 inches folded down and over the exterior face of the wall. Cut the membrane with 4 inches extending beyond the jams on each side. These 4 inches will rise up the inside of each jam. Wipe the membrane with your hand to set it in place. For reinforcement in the corners of the jams and sill, cut detail strips of membrane that will allow a 2-inch overlap over the exterior face of the wall. Peel back half the liner and position the strip in the corner so that 2 inches rises up the jam and 2 inches extends across the sill. Press the membrane securely into the corner. Cut and apply membrane for the jams and header with the same procedure as the sill. Start with the jams, lapping the membrane shingle fashion over the sill wrap. Finish with the header strip lapping over the jam strips. With a J-roller, burnish the membrane and all laps to optimize sealing. To apply 3M self-adhered air and vapor barrier membrane 3015 around penetrations such as pipes and vents, first fill the gap between the penetration and wall with 3M polyurethane sealant 540. In a 4 inch width of membrane, cut 2 inch long fingers. Position the membrane so that the base of the fingers will be flush and flare out over the wall. Then wrap the membrane around the pipe overlapping itself. Remove the liner and rub the membrane with your hand or a J-roller to set the adhesive.
to apply 3M self-adhered air and vapor barrier membrane 3015 around a masonry tie knife plate. First, fill the gap between the knife plate and wall with 3M polyurethane sealant 540. Cut the square of membrane that extends beyond the plate by at least two inches in all directions. Cut a slit in the center of the membrane that approximates the height of the plate. Slide the membrane slit over the plate and burnish the membrane firmly to the wall. To apply 3M self-adhered air and vapor barrier membrane 3015 around a junction box, first fill the gap between the junction box and wall with 3M polyurethane sealant 540. Next, cut the membrane so that it can completely wrap the outside perimeter of the junction box as a continuous piece that overlaps itself by at least two inches. Perpendicular to the direction of the wrap, cut fingers or flanges that will flare out to provide continuous contact between the sides of the box and the wall. Remove the liner and burnish the membrane to the wall with your hand or a J-roller. There you have it. 3M self-adhered air and vapor barrier membrane 3015. Roll it on with the ease of a pressure-sensitive adhesive tape to sheathing, concrete, wood, and other construction substrates, all without priming. Apply it in the summer without any adhesive melt issues and in the winter as low as zero degrees Fahrenheit without heating.